by using materials such as antenna cable, typewriters, and VHS tapes, Winid Fatmi elaborates an experimental archaeology that questions the world and the role of the artist within a society in crisis. The Observer Effect, title of this exhibition, refers to well-known phenomena in quantum physics and cognitive psychology that translate, each in their own way, the disturbance and modification of studied objects caused by the very fact that they're being observed. The Observer Effect is also the name of the sculpture, composed by an equestrian jumping bar, a recurring element in Munir Fatmi's pieces that symbolizes an ideological, political, or historical obstacle that individuals must face. Furthermore, Propaganda is a sculpture made out of VHS tapes that create a sort of black cube. This use of obsolete materials in our digital age not only questions the exploration of the artwork itself, but it relates to a certain idea of the absence of images. The VHS tape, nowadays an obsolete means of communication, hereby takes the form of dead media as a way of questioning our civilization and its relation to technology. The artistic correspondence between the written word and the so-called plastic arts are of central interest to the artist. His manifesto, poetic and aesthetic, work as commemorative anchors due to their strong power of expression. The sculpture heavier than words expresses a linguistic paradox an unbearable lightness of language, to quote novelist Milan Kundera's expression, and materializes the dream of a language freed from the weight of history. With that in mind, the photographic series Peripheral Vision highlights the shortcomings of the language of aesthetics and the artist's inability to translate his own thoughts. At a time when issues of identity and borders are increasingly present in the media, the sculpture Roots defends the idea of harmony and stability through its interlacing composition, a metaphor for the possibility of an eventual union. In this space, the viewer is not meant to submit to the power of images but rather, it is the images themselves that use the same rhetoric to expose their inner functionality and decrease their ability to manipulate. 